Do you know how to use the trace module that comes with native script out of the box? I'm going to show you how to get started with the trace module coming up in this video. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex from nativescripting.com. Check out nativescripting.com if you want in-depth courses on NativeScript. And if you want to get tips, tricks, and tutorials about NativeScript like we do here, make sure you subscribe and click on the little bell so you don't miss anything. All right, console.log is fine for quick debugging. Not really though. But what if you wanted to categorize your logs and maybe even broadcast them to different destinations like the file system, the server, and the console as well? This is where tracing comes in really useful. Tracing is even useful if you want to just check out the NativeScript lifecycle and how the UI is built. This is if you're just starting out with NativeScript and you want to learn about the internals. Now, what's really nice is that NativeScript already comes with this and it has it built in. And if you're not using it, you might be missing out. Let's take a look at tracing now and how you can get started with it. To start using the trace module, we need to import it. So here is an app that's a native script core application with TypeScript. It's just the regular old hello world. And I'm running this in the Android emulator. So I'm going to go to app.ts, which is our main file here. I'm going to import star as trace from TNS core modules trace. All right, now you need to let the application know that you want to enable tracing. So we're going to use the trace module trace dot enable. This will enable tracing through your entire application. If at any point later on you want to disable it, or if you want to enable it for certain parts of the application, you can do that too. So for example, I'm going to copy this import statement and I'm going to go to main page. I'm going to paste the import here. And let's say I want to enable it only for this navigating to. So I'm going to go to trace, enable up here. And then at the end of the method, I'm going to say trace disable. OK, and in here, I'm going to do some trace messages. So for example, I'm going to do a right here, trace right, and then a message in navigating to. And then you also need to provide a category, which is a string. You can create your own categories or you can use the trace module categories trace dot categories let's say you were doing debug messages here this also has a third parameter which is a type a type can be here it's a number so it's not very descriptive but it tells you here info warning or errors and to know which one is which we'd have to look at the documentation so let's leave that one out because it's optional we're actually not going to need that so this will enable tracing and then write a message and then disable it for now, I'm going to go ahead and remove this enable and disable here. And I want to look at some tracing options that are available through the entire application process so you can see what it does. Now, if I just use this the way it is, I'm going to save everything and this will restart my application. And I'm going to look at the console. So here you'll see we already have a message that says JS error could not find font file Roboto medium. Not sure what that's all about, but that's a message that's coming from the trace because I have that enabled. What if we want some other things to be visible? OK, so I'm going to go in here and say trace categories are actually add categories. And here I can say which categories I want to watch. So trace categories. And then let's say I want to look at debugging messages. This is the category I want to look at. I'm going to save this. My app will restart and you'll see that we have our debugging message show up now. This is the one that we've added in the navigating to function. So this is a good way to get debugging working throughout your entire application. What if I want to see some other categories that are actually part of NativeScript core modules or NativeScript widgets? Um, there's other ones here as well. For example, let's take a look at native lifecycle. So this will give me the native Android lifecycle because I'm running this on Android and all the events that come by. And here we go. Look at this. We have native lifecycle activity on create. Then we have the category native lifecycle again. So these are the categories listed here. And you can see the specific message that's written to the console. You have your native script activity start, post resume. So this gives you a lot of information that could be useful to debug your application. Another one we can use is view hierarchy. So we can take a look at that one. The application where it starts. And now we have our view hierarchy messages shown here. This will tell you when native script adds the views and how it builds up the views that you see. What if we wanted to watch more than one built in categories? Okay, we can do that. Sure. Let's go with 
with something called concat. All right, so we can concatenate the categories. So trace categories, and it has this function called concat. Basically, it'll just use the strings and put a comma in between them. So nothing crazy fancy going on behind the scenes. So this function will take in a few different categories. For example, if you want to watch view hierarchy, and let's say we want to also watch trace categories and then native lifecycle. So this will show both view hierarchy and native lifecycle events all shown together. You can even add your own categories. So I can add a string called my cat. I don't know why I capitalized that. Let's go with my category. Okay. So now my category will also be added. And now if I go somewhere else, like for example, if I go to main view model, and I'm going to copy that import statement, I'm going to go down here to the tab function and say trace right on tap. And then I'm going to add my category there. Let's save all this. And let's take a look. Okay, so here is our restart. This will show you all the native lifecycle and the view hierarchy. And I'm going to go to the app and tap this. And there's our trace for my category on tap. You can also turn on all the categories. Let's say I want to delete this and say trace categories and then all this will show you everything. So let's go to the console and you'll see a crazy number of messages here. Transition, visual tree events, debug, navigation and so on. Now, by default, we're seeing all this written out to the console. That's because the default writer that we've added to our trace module is the console writer that already comes built in. You can change that, though. You can create your own trace writer. Let's say you wanted to log messages to the file system or if you wanted to aggregate and log messages to a server that's going to collect the information. Well, you can do that as well. You just need to create your own trace writer. And that's for another video. You can also find in the documentation on the native script website, of course. Why is that useful? Well, you can broadcast your trace messages to multiple writers at the same time. So instead of sprinkling your code with console writes or custom logging mechanisms, you can just add a couple of trace writers in and then your trace write messages will go in their respective buckets. So you can have a trace writer that'll go to your file system. You can have another one that'll go to your server and you can have another one that goes to your console console and all you need to do is just say trace right once and it'll go to its appropriate spot. All right, now I got a question for you. Do you plan to use tracing now that you've watched this video? And do you want to learn more about tracing? Let me know down in the comments below. You can also let me know on Twitter. I'm at Digitalix over there. You can follow me there and see me tweet about random native script related stuff. And make sure you subscribe to this channel to get the latest native script tips, tricks and tutorials. And I will see you next time. Bye.